Hey everyone, Witchy Cat Lady here in Horse Life Alpha by Sonar Studios. And while this game is still in testing, there have been a lot of additions and we're going to get in and explore and see what some of that stuff is. Uh, first, I'm going to claim some of my children here. Ooh, look at that. That's a really pretty unicorn. But we're going to sell it. <laughs> I'm just letting myself sell everything since I know I'm not going to be keeping anything after the data gets wiped when it goes into full release. Oh, that's really pretty though. Look at that. We'll just get rid of that. Um, oh, one more. Get this from the gargoyle. And we'll sell that one too. So, what are some things to look at? Okay, well they bust up that bush for me. Get over there. In here in the settings are some really amazing things. There is now co-op writing and you have settings for that. So no one, friends, or everyone. You can see avatars of somebody lassoing another horse. You have your individual adjustments for your volumes, just like in Dragon Adventures and some other sonar games. And down here is this beautiful feature, show players horses. So like you see there, some other people's horses. We're going to turn that off. And that will help reduce, you know, being overwhelmed or lag or anything like that. Or you just don't want to see all those horses running around. But I'm going to leave mine on for a little bit while we're in here so that you can see all the beautiful coats and styles. One thing I'm really liking about this game is that while, yeah, there seems to be an endless combination of things to collect, there's absolutely no need to do that. Well, let me put my build down somewhere. Trying to confirm. I'm in a restricted zone. No, I'm not. Go down. All right. So the builds are working now. You can have saves. There are save slots if you go into manage. And, you know, of course, details on all of this will change as it goes into public testing. And here is one of the winged horses. The wings are a rare spawn to find. They can be bred, it looks like, but it's going to be very rare. <laughs> My beehives. <laughs> I don't know if they like them or not. I think they're fun. I'm just going to leave beehives all over the place. But let's go see some of the other amazing things they are adding to the map. And over in this new area, you can find this beautiful new horse, the Equus Horse. It's based on prehistoric horse designs, and there's several different coats you can get in the wild. And then, of course, you know, through breeding, you can make all kinds of endless combinations. But as I was saying before I distracted myself, while there's going to be quite a number of horse breeds in here, you know, we have horse, we have the Equus, Unicorn, Gargoyle, they're doing Kieran, there's the Pegasi, you know, the winged things. The combinations are going to be endless because of breeding with coats and everything like that. So you really don't have to collect one of every single thing. You know, I want to get one of each type of horse and then I'll be happy because then I can work kind of breed up the way that I want each one to look and have my own unique things that nobody else has. And if I remember correctly, Arithia had said that that's kind of what she wants. I remember a while back in the Discord server. And honestly, I think I'm going to really be spending a lot of time over in this area. I love this. This is just very, very pretty. But as you can see, your horse does gain experience by doing things like jumps and just running around. They do have stats. And here's, so as you're, you know, running around, doing the jumps, things like that, they will get better at their stats. Fertility obviously increases as you breed them. And we have mutation slots now. And the things like the wings are going to be over here and anything else that they end up adding in. Our horses now have birthdays. So you can celebrate their birthdays. Which, you know, at full release, obviously, I won't have that horse. But at least I'm getting all the recordings in. So I do advise, if you really like some of the things that you have in here, take screenshots of the info, do some recordings, that way you can recreate your favorite things once they come into release. Oh my gosh. Mayor horsey, horsey, horsey. Oh my gosh. Yes, yes, yes. Finally found a Pegasi. 
Okay. This is going to take a second. Well, I'm so glad I hoarded up foods. I've heard a lot of people say that this is kind of hard. I wonder if they're going to add in some kind of boost to make it slow down for people. A uh, big trick is I've seen people, they struggle with it because they wait until the little cursor is in the red area. That's not what you want to do. I've played many uh, puzzle games like this all my life, and you want to time it beforehand. Think of like, you know... If you have a shooting game and you're shooting arrows at a moving target, do you aim right at the target? No, you lead into it. So you want to cl click shortly before it actually gets to the red area. And I usually let it go around a couple of times so I can get the timing right. And there we go. Look at that. It is on an equus. And we have wings. <laughs> that adds 111 money's value look at that this is a really pretty one and the blue eyes um we're keeping that okay let's check that out real quick let's put i don't want to put anybody away i love of these having a herd going and i have not done enough of that all right let's get let's put let's put you away all right where's our little it's small house Small are you compared to the others? Not terrible. Look at that. Let's put the others away so we can see this better. So it's not going to be able to fly yet. We have to do things to level up the wings. So let's head back to town. Oh, somebody's getting a unicorn over here. I'm sorry if I added to startling that. And actually, that's something I enjoy. <laughs> I love running up on the, the wild ones and just giving them a startle. I don't think I'll be doing that much in um, public server because that would be rude if somebody's trying to catch it. So let's go over here into town and see if we can get some of the uh, level up potions for our wings. Hey, look, watch it jump. Isn't that beautiful? Look at that. Whew. Absolutely gorgeous as I hit a wall. <laughs> All right, gallop, gallop. Beautiful. All right, we need to jump off a ledge and see that. Get up there. All right, here we are at the ledge. Ready? Absolutely beautiful. I will definitely have to get some shots of that jumping off somewhere and not have all that stuff in the background. Oh my goodness. What if I can climb up there and jump off? That'd be beautiful. All right, let me go over here and... To the shop. You have to be in town to access the shop. If it's not the Robux shop. Alright, here we go. Potions. I don't have enough of that. I'm going to have to sell some horses or something. Oh my gosh. Alright, who do I not need? I, I'm just going to sell these. Because I can't have them after, <laughs> after the launch anyway. Okay, I have enough now, so we're going to buy that. I'm honestly not sure how many of these we need. I have not really looked around a whole lot. Okay, how do I get off the horse? There we go. How do I actually give it to you? Upgrade. Upgrade your wings to level 2 to be able to fly. Alrighty. Required one potion. There we go. And then it looks like we can upgrade our speed with wings and everything upon doing other things. Alright, we should be able to fly now. Ready, go. How do you fly? Not like that. Oh my god, how do you fly? Oh, I see the button. F. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Oh, that is so slow. Definitely need to level up the wings. Oh my goodness. Let's see if I can climb up and glide down. So I'm pretty much just gliding right now. So I need money. Oh, see, there was the player icon. Look at that. So that's them and their horse. Neat. 
So they're in wild mode. I don't know if I like the player icons. Uh, can't turn that one off. Um, okay. Well, it doesn't look like that's that big of a deal. Let's go up high and fly down. Oh, the winged gargoyle. Look at that. That's pretty. There's all kinds of combinations in here, man. I cannot wait until all of this is public and we get to see everybody's creations. Absolutely just so excited for this. And sorry if I don't sound more excited. I'm actually trying to be quiet. It is a little earlier in the morning than usual. And I don't want to wake some people. All right, we're going to fly off this cliff. Here we go. Oh, look how pretty. And my stamina is done. <laughs> no, I just want to get a good shot of flying. There's stuff in the background. No. So I'll definitely have to work on that. <laughs> All right. Let me get out a slightly faster horse to run around on. Um, moss is actually pretty good. I've got moss pretty leveled up. Um, I want to take honey out. Let's run around with teeny. I'm definitely glad I've got all of these guys in videos and screenshots because I do want to find another gargoyle like honey. I know people like the horns and everything, but I've, I like honey. Honey's a very pretty gargoyle. And I definitely need another goat looking unicorn. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny to me. You know, they have an autumn area. I wonder if they're going to add like a snowy area. How cool would that be up on mountains? They have this little snowy area. Let's go around and see some of these pretty horses they have now. Look at these. And these are just the coats you can get when you breed them. That's how you'll get different colors like green and even pink. I know in the wild we do see a lot of brown. <laughs> What kind of foods do I have here? Let's replace the carrot with that white carrot. The white carrot's funny to me. It's enormous. It's like a radish. I tell you what, though. I can't wait to be able to get private servers once this game is in full release. Because sometimes you get a nice small public server. But as you can see, people just running around everywhere. Catching all kinds of horses and... Or spooking them and it can be really difficult right now to get horses that you want just because so many people are in here so if you can't get the things just remember that Publix release will be coming honestly I don't expect it to be very long from now they are really working on getting bugs and tweaks and they listen to feedback all the time making constant adjustments I think they really want to get this out as soon as possible. And this is so well made. I mean, look at this horse. Wish I could get that out of the way. Watch there probably be a button I don't know about. Um, no, but we have all these new things now that I can't seem to get it to do. Okay, whoa! Okay, that's what that does. Alright, why can't I get the other one to work? Okay, that might be, that might be bugged. I might have to report that. Let's go in wild mode. This I like. I thought there was a way to get rid of this UI. I can't remember what it was. So there looks like there is no way to actually remove the menus while moving around, which is kind of frustrating for doing videos. Hopefully they add something in. I know this doesn't exist in other games too, and believe me, I have put in the feedback. Because look at this, I'm trying to get the horse and look at that menu in the way. Y'all have to stare at all my menus. But... Overall, I really like this game, and I see myself spending a lot of time in it when it comes out. I kind of want to. I kind of want to chop the trees down. <laughs> oh, where's my Pegasus? Let me ride the Pegasus in, in wild mode. Oh my gosh! Please, please, please! 
I'm breaking my neck. Get up. Yes. Yes, please. Up we go. Let's go fly. I need a good background. Let's get away from these trees. These little orange golden horses are really cute. There's actually some running around that are a little bit more yellow, I thought. Or it might just be the lighting. Up we go. There we go. And down we go. That'll make a much better screenshot if I can get that out of the way. Let's, yeah, it's looking like the only way to level up those wings is with a potion. I was really kind of hoping that maybe using the wings flying would be a good way to level up, but it's fine. I'll adjust. But just a reminder, if you guys ever see me in-game and you want to join, you're absolutely welcome to do that. I keep my joins on for followers. Just make sure you're following me on Roblox. Sometimes I'm recording, sometimes I'm not. In regards to this game, I'll be in and out of it. I won't really be grinding it to get a ton of things and all the different things, just because, you know, everything's changing and we're going to lose the stuff. But I am getting in and just exploring. And to be honest, that's probably what I'll be doing when it gets fully released, is just exploring. I will be in private servers probably to catch things initially and as I, I want different horses just because I really don't like the competition in public servers with campers and people chasing things away that I'm working on. But I'll be in public servers a lot just exploring and having fun. Oh look at that the UI went away. What happened? Was there some glitch? Did I hit something? Uh, oh, I eat the clovers. Yeah. Num, 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 num. But I think that's going to be it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Again, you can join me in game whenever I have my joins on, which is most of the time, and I don't know what Moss is doing here. So I will see you guys in game or another video. Bye.